cart at the top uh, there. Uh, it, it sends one penny to TikTok, and all it does is says, hey, this dude's legit. Um, so if you appreciate the content that I make, please consider just tapping a little heart. Let's try to get to 300 tonight. Welcome to our friends over on YouTube. My name is Dave Knapp. If you don't know me, I'm the man on the Manjaro. That's why I'm here. You are on the pen. And that's going to be the Wagovi Saxenda Victoza Trulicity Manjaro Zetbound pen. Uh, ex excuse all of my... Everything's discombobulated here. Slide some stuff out of the way. We're doing a, a joint live here. So we got TikTok live. Um, we've got, hey, thank you. We got a team member there. Thank you for doing that, Tara on Zetbound. Appreciate that. Um, so yeah, just, just a little dual joint live uh, tonight where we're talking about all things uh, GLP-1 medication. So if you have a specific topic that you would like to talk about, hey, thanks, Chris. Appreciate that. Paul is new. Welcome. Thank you for being here, Paul. It's good to have you here. Uh, see here, we've got a couple joining over here on YouTube. So thank you for being here over on YouTube as well. Um, this is a, a just kind of a, a catch-all for all the whole topic uh, that that we talk about on this channel is GLP-1 medication. So that's what we're that's what we're discussing tonight. A lot of really great news in the world of GLP-1s. I mean, I'll, I'll just kick it off right away and, and just talk about some of the really exciting news that we have as you're coming in here. Make sure you put an N in the chat if you're new. Let me know that you're new here. I'd love to welcome you by name. Uh, but let's talk about GLP-1 medications in high doses. So if you need high doses of these medications to get to where uh, you want to be for your weight loss goals, what, what is available? What is going to be available? Well, we learned this past week that uh, Rebelsis will be available later this year in 50 milligrams. So right now it only goes up to 14. It's going to go up to uh, 50 milligrams. So that's really exciting. Hey, Anna, how are you tonight? Would I suggest changing inje injection site to help out a stall? I would, I would encourage you to always be moving around your injection sites uh, to try to see what's better. I, I mean, the people who have saw seen a lot of success with uh, breaking stalls with changing injection sites actually keep track in like a spreadsheet of what uh, dosing spots work the best for them. So definitely is a way that you could kind of do that. I'll also look at it up in your dose, talking to your doctor about that. Uh, your pharmacy can't run your script yet. Just scheduled your appointment for compound. Interesting. I uh, hope that all works out for you. Hey, Big T, how are you tonight? What do I do? No Manjaro available. Took my 12.5 last Monday. You may want to, you may want to, uh, Talk to your doctor about what the best option for you is going to be, Freckles. Uh, the the best thing that I can recommend is maybe go through a, a mail order pharmacy right now. Amazon, CVS, uh, Optum. Um, is compound just as good as the real med? I mean, in some cases it may be, but in many cases it's definitely not. So uh, you want to be working with your doctor on that. Uh, your doctor should know how to source that appropriately. Hey, if you're over here on YouTube, let me know that you're here in the chat. I would love to welcome you in here. Um, I'm streaming in a little bit different way tonight, so I, I hope that you're able to uh, comment. Hey, Dink, how are you? Dink's there. All right. So I'm good to know that somebody's there over on YouTube. Uh, they switch you from Manjaro Zetbound because it was available. Yeah, that is another option if you have uh, uh, coverage for weight loss medication and you've been on Manjaro Zetbound, of course, is the same thing. Hey, Julie, how are you? Agar, welcome. Tabitha, welcome. Charlotte, hey, thank you for being here. Thank you for putting that in the chat. It's good to see you all. Uh, welcome over on the YouTube side. Um, my script is for ZetBound. Yeah, ZetBound, uh, are you having a hard time finding ZetBound? If you are having a hard time finding ZetBound, one of the best things you can do is call your local hospital pharmacy. A lot of times they're sitting on a little bit of supply there and they may be able to help you out, but definitely you want to call around. I'm talking like have 10, 15 different pharmacies on speed dial. I try to find out who has it because they all use different wholesalers and the wholesalers are the ones uh, that they supply the pharmacies with the medicines and some of them are in shortage right now. So good to have you, Sarah. Thank you for watching. Rudy, welcome. Good to have you. You weren't kidding about that MJ shortage. Can't find 12.5 anywhere. So I just got my 12.5 in the mail um, this week. So, it, you know, it can be found, uh, but I had to do mail order uh, to, to get it. Um, so, yeah, that's super, super frustrating. Hey, Tanya, how are you tonight? Hey, we've got a goal over on TikTok to get to uh, 200 or to get to 300 hearts hearts tonight up here. Uh, tap that up there. It just gives a penny to TikTok and it tells you that this tells TikTok that this stream is worth it. Diana can even find five milligram. You may want to talk about uh, getting a box of 2.5 to tide you over or something. You just don't want to be off it for that long. Thank you, Zep Bay. Uh, hey, just to let you all know that all 10 percent of all the gifts that we get this month. 10% of all the gifts that we get this month are going to go back into a drawing. And one of the lucky paid members on either YouTube or TikTok 
uh, will get a chance to uh, win that 10% of the gifts that I earn this month, as well as the dues for the paid memberships to help somebody kind of defray the cost of their medication this month. So we're just trying to find ways to give back to the community. Uh, we're going to give back 10% of the of the tips that I received this month, as well as the membership dues. So thank you for those who are giving gifts over on TikTok. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, very, very much appreciated. Um, if you want to become a member on TikTok, you can just click the star up there. Uh, you can become a member by clicking that star uh, and $5.99 a month, I believe, on TikTok. Over on YouTube, if you want to become a member, uh, just click join. And that should be in the description of the video. If it's not, I'll add it after the fact. Uh, become a member. It's $2.99 a month on YouTube is the entry level. So thank you for those who have given gifts. And I look forward to doing that on the, the 4th of April. Uh, we'll do that giveaway. Uh, one of the local pharmacies are able to get five milligrams and that's all they can get for Julie. That's, that's really frustrating. Thank you for those who are becoming uh, team members over on TikTok. Appreciate that. Um, yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, Tabitha says, you're always so caring and thoughtful. Thank you, Tabitha. I really appreciate it. Um, I really, really love this community. I appreciate all you've done for me. Uh, and I, I'm always trying to give back uh, to the community in different ways. We've, we've done some giveaways on the channel and things like that too. So always, always fun to do that. Always fun to be able to give back. Thank you for those who are following. So if you're on TikTok and you're just joining, hit follow the live creator. If you're over on YouTube, make sure that you hit subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, thank you. The hearts are flying over on, on YouTube. And so thank you for that. Appreciate that. Uh, the, the likes and the shares are flying over on TikTok as well. So thank you uh, for sharing the work that I do. So what uh, what topics do you all want to talk, talk about? Susan says, any advice to get your ZetBound coupon to work? Have you gotten a new coupon yet, Susan? So you go to ZetBound.Lily.com. There are new coupons available. You make sure you download that, take it to the pharmacy. They're going to have to rerun the script, right? So they're going to have to, if, if the current pharmacy that's running your prescription can't get it filled, I would take I would have your script transferred to a different pharmacy. 100% uh, that should be able to, to rectify your issue. Um, so that is have it transferred to a different pharmacy. That's the best advice is I, that I can give you because there's too, too much nuance between the different pharmacies, the competency level that exists in handling the pharmacy. Hey, thank you for joining the team. We almost have 200. So the next person to give a heart up there in the top left corner, it just tells TikTok that this channel is legit and that you like it. Uh, if we hit 200 and you haven't gifted before, become a part of the team, it'll get us to 200. So Thank you for those who are doing that. Uh, Macintosh heard they came out with a new cup coupon. Of course they did. Yeah, that's correct information. You can go over to zetbound.lily.com and download that new coupon or, or copay savings card. Uh, what is your take on compound GLP ones? I'm ready to try it. So my my take on it is is you want to make sure that you know where it's coming from and you want to make sure that you understand that it is not exactly the same thing as comes in the FDA approved version of the medications. Um, but you know the active ingredient uh, is is available in like a generic form it's not an official generic uh but it, it is being made somewhere and that's the problem with it as i see it is a lot of times we don't know where that where is it's not coming from eli Lilly, and it's not coming from novo nordisk in most cases um so make sure that your compound pharmacy is willing to disclose where that source medication is coming from uh the fda has sent out warnings on it and said uh you know that that they don't, they don't stand behind them, but uh, medications when they're in shortage can be made, um, can be made in compound by compound pharmacies to help alleviate the shortage. And that's what we're seeing now. I just think that it's a little bit of a gray area because we don't always know where they're coming from and they're not always created equal. I think you should be able to trust your doctor. If you trust your doctor, uh, they should be able to help you source something and have it be a safe source uh, for your compound medications. It's going to be a great option for a lot of people who can't get the branded medications because of scarcity, right? The, the drug manufacturers have created this problem. They have perpetuated this problem by launching in markets, new markets. You see Eli Lilly's launched over in the UK in single, in single dose vials in Australia and Canada uh, while they struggle to keep supply up here. So they've created this problem. And so you know, I think for those of you who are struggling to get it, whether it be uh, scarcity issues or, or, or financial issues, just know uh, that they're not all created equal and you should do your homework. You should be a 503 B, or 503B pharmacy um, making your compound medications and then just make sure you do your homework and, and that you're working with a doctor who knows their stuff when it comes to compound medications. Uh, thank you for everything you do, says Kiki. I was originally on Manjaro, but switched to Wagovi because my insurance didn't cover Manjaro, but I wanted to switch back. Can you talk about why you went back? Yeah, I went back because basically on a high dose of semaglutide. So I did three months on this just to see if it worked better for me. It, it didn't. I maintained 
pretty much exactly where I was at. I maybe gained a couple of pounds over three months, uh, but not significant. And now I'm back on 12.5 milligram. So I did better with my blood sugar. So I am a diabetic. So I did better with my blood sugar on Manjaro. And I feel like um, the GIP really had the food noise down. And since I drive for work and, and driving is a big trigger for me uh, when it comes to um, you know, just struggling to make good choices and boredom and all that. Um, so, so I like the food noise being turned down. This works way better for me on that. And so that's why I, I switched back. I heard it was because they can't make the pens. Yeah, it's a hundred percent because they can't make the pens. We've talked about that, uh, gosh, into the ground on this channel. Hey, we're up to 200. So thank you. Let's see if we can get to 300. All you have to do is tap that little heart. It tells TikTok this is worth watching. Click that little heart gives a penny to TikTok, says this guy's legit. Thank you, Sabrina, for the $4.99 super chat over on YouTube. 10% of all gifts this month are going to a paid member, one random paid member on either TikTok or YouTube. You can uh, subscribe by hitting the star up on, on uh, TikTok. Um, let's see what else. Why can't they make them? They can make them. It's just that Zetbound is writing like 100,000 new scripts a week. Uh, there's already, you know, a couple hundred thousand people on Manjaro. Uh, they just don't have the capacity to make enough of them. So I'm hoping that later in the year we'll see single dose vials in the United States, uh, just like they have released in Canada. But uh, we'll see. I don't think they want people splitting doses, and this is their largest market for Zetbound and Manjaro. Um, so I think that this, that's their main concern is that people would start splitting up doses. You know, for example, if you're on the five milligram, getting a 15 milligram month supply of 15 milligram, which would be like 60 milligrams of trisepatide, and that would last you seven months, se not seven months, several months of five uh, milligrams. So they don't want that to happen, right? Because they would lose out on revenue. Kiki with a 499 super chat on. YouTube. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you for those who are sending the hearts flying on TikTok and YouTube. I uh, really appreciate that. I'll uh, we'll just kind of continue to move through the questions here. Uh, if you have a question, drop it in the chat. Uh, if you drop a question in the form of a super chat on, on YouTube, I'm a lot more likely to catch it. Um, although the chat's not moving too fast over there, but it's flying over here on TikTok. Uh, we got about 30 people watching on YouTube. We got about 120 people over here on TikTok. Uh, so thank you for being here. If you're new here, put an N in the chat next to your name. Let me know that you're new here. I'd love to welcome you by name. Uh, my name is Dave. I'm the man on the Manjaro. That's why I'm here. I'm, you're on the pen, right? On the pen. Uh, and that's why you're here. That's why if you're new here, the algorithm sent you here is probably because you're on the GLP-1 medication. That's what we talk about. Danita is new. What dose am I on? I'm on the 12.5. So I took the 12.5 on Thursday, not feeling a ton from it, uh, but I'm feeling good energy levels and and I'm invigorated, reinvigorated, and re, re kind of uh, energized for my journey. Haley, how are you tonight? Welcome. James, welcome. I saw you, uh, Triplet Dad, in here. So thank you for being here, Triplet Dad. Any help? on getting 10 to 12.5 to 15, three weeks without. That really sucks. Uh, ice cream scoop. Um, yeah, supply. I'm getting a lot of uh, David on my jar. That's awesome. Welcome. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the supply chain is really, really whacked right now. And so, you know, the best thing that I can recommend to y'all is to, to maybe look at uh, mail order. So if you get, if you have a PBM, hey, thanks, Triplet Dad. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, if you have a PBM that you can get it mail order, Amazon pharmacy mail order, uh, those are going to be some ways that you could potentially uh, find the dose. You're going to want to call around to like five, six, seven, eight different pharmacies. That might help you as well uh, to try to find the dose that you're looking for. Um, talk to your doctor. See if your doctor can kind of uh, ha has any inside track on where their patients have been able to find it. Um, that would be a, a recommendation for you. And then obviously the compound route is always an option that people can look into. NHL Blues Girl, welcome. Thank you for being back. Thank you for all the members. I see all the members that are watching over on YouTube. Thank you very much for being here tonight. Uh, Sue, I didn't even tell him I was doing this. I just, this was kind of impromptu. So I, I don't know. He'll probably show up at some point. How much my doctor is charging me $1,000. If your doctor is charging you $1,000 for compound medication, your doctor's a crook. Uh, I'm on Zetbound 15 milligrams, but unable to get for a week now due to coupon working. Uh, Walmart has plenty of it. Uh, that's, yeah, yeah, it's going to, Cindy, that's not going to be a, a blanket statement for every Walmart. It's going to depend on where you're at in the company, country, but definitely call around uh, to different pharmacies. Any recommendation on compound company? Yep, flexcare.now. So if you could check out flexcare.now, they have some options that I think are to totally legit. Join Fridays. Um, they're really good people over there too. So there's a couple names that, that I trust, uh, but I I really like um, what they're doing over at Flex. Well, Walmart has no idea when Manjaro will be in. Yeah, see, it's different between different uh, Walmarts for sure. Uh, Costco, Sam's, even if you're not a member, I hear that you can fill medications there. So 
Uh, check those out. Daphne, how, how are you tonight? Welcome. Good to have you here. Basil, anyone using Express Scripts for ZetBound? I think there are plenty of people who are using that. Uh, Express Scripts. I've heard I've heard that uh, Lily Direct is having some good luck again, although they were struggling too there for a little bit. Uh, there's new coupon on the Lily site. Yep, for both Manjaro and ZetBound. So if you go to Manjaro.com or ZetBound.com, depending on the medication that you are on, uh, you should be able to download a new savings card. So yeah, uh, and if it's not working, uh, I would switch pharmacies. That's my, that's the best advice that I can give you. Any idea when it might start getting some more supply? I'm so anxious. Yeah, I mean, the last update was early March, and they updated that in early March. <laughs> so I would say any day we should start seeing those doses hit back, or we will need to get an update from Eli Lilly in the FDA again. Um, and I don't think it's going to be great news because they, they're just it, they've already told us that it's going to be a problem well into 2025. So this problem isn't going anywhere. So the tricks about calling pharmacies or in mail order and stocking up and getting three month prescriptions written, those are all going to play out over the next uh, 14 to 18 months. Getting 15 milligrams on day one in a vial and titrating up properly per the doc would save so much money, but would PBMs would lose money. Yeah, PBMs aren't going to do anything to make them lose money. That's for sure. Carol, welcome. Beverly, welcome. I use Express Scripts from Manjaro, no problems at all. Yeah, so, okay. Beverly's had no problems with Express Scripts. Uh, so check it out. Yeah, yeah. I wish it was good news. I mean, I, I don't, there, honestly, you come on here and you talk, start talking about uh, scarcity and stuff. Flexcare.net isn't coming up. Yeah, it's flex, uh, flexcare.now, or maybe it's flexnow.care. I can't remember. For the 15 milligram, yeah. Yeah, uh, all of the upper doses are in, in shortage. If you're on ZetBound, they're not in an official shortage, but they're going to be. Mark my words. I would say within the next few weeks, so at least a couple of those doses got to be popping up on the shortage list. There's so many people struggling to find their medication. Kim, uh, my husband got 15 milligram from Express Scripts. So it sounds like people are having a lot of, it, a lot of uh, luck with Express Scripts. So check that out. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, let me check something out here. So the website for Flex is flexnow.care. Flex, like flex, now.care. Uh, so that's where you can check them out. Deja vu, Rob. How are you tonight? Why would they launch in the UK with all these shortages? Yeah, uh, well, there's uh, being being uh, in in ex US markets is a huge part of their growth strategy. Um, they were able to launch with a quick pen, so they're not using this uh, for Manjaro in the UK. They're using a pen much more like the uh, Ozempic pen that's adjustable, um, and you know, so it's a one one pen for one month, so it's easier for them to manufacture. So far, from everything that I've heard from Eli Lilly directly, they don't have a shortage of the API, the active pharmaceutical ingredient, which is terzepatide. They have a shortage in the pens, and that's always kind of been the case. If you've watched me on YouTube, you know I've been talking about that for a year. Um, that'll continue to be the issue moving forward. Hey, Mitch, how are you tonight? Um, Vicki got hers from her local hospital. That's another trick that people do. If you call your hospital, a lot of times the local hospital pharmacies keep a little stash of this stuff uh, for um, their patients. And not all patients are on GLP-1, so sometimes they're willing to part ways with it. So, uh, yeah, we're just talking about shortages. That seems to be the 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 direction that this live stream has gone for whatever reason, but we can talk about anything you want to talk about. Um, I don't typically talk about side effects, but I like to talk about all the news, uh, potential new medications that are in the pipeline, um, things like that, breaking news, coupon issues. What about high lipase on these meds? Uh, yeah, I don't know a whole lot about that. I don't know how, a whole lot about high lipase. Uh, there's three GLP meds I know of that Lily uses the pen for, and they're all in shortage. Trulicity, Manjaro, Zetbound. Um, yeah, Manjaro, Zetbound, and Trulicity all use the same pen. And and now, actually, one of the things that they said um, over uh, at the Eli Lilly earnings calls is that they're they're not recommending that doctors put patient new patients on on Trulicity. So that should help a little bit in the pen supply, but not much. And I think they're probably trying to push most Trulicity users over to Manjaro at this point. Their natural point out there to help lose weight. 
<laughs> yeah, thanks, Rob. Appreciate that. Some sort of magical plant, huh? Um, let's see. Blood sugar is better in control on terzepatide than Wagovi, right? Yeah, marginally. I mean, I think people respond to them better. I, it's definitely better for me on terzepatide from a blood sugar standpoint, Eunice. Um, and then the clinical trials show you that that they're a little bit better. Uh, somebody asked if there's a shortage in Zetbound. I mean, there's depends on how you define a shortage. Not not any shortage reported to the FDA, but there are definitely uh, shortages at the pharmacy level and pharmacies unable to get from their wholesalers. Now, you know, <laughs> a shortage is when you can't get medicine, right? I mean, so in that sense, yes, there are, but there's been nothing reported to the FDA. Uh, on Zetbound yet. I think there will be within a matter of days even. They can't keep up because they're writing 100,000 scripts of Zetbound a week. Um, and they've already told us that they'll, they will not be able to meet demand in 2024 and probably likely not in 2025 either. They purchased a couple of companies, but uh, those aren't going to come online for quite some time. Catalent uh, was purchased by or is in the process of being purchased by uh, Novo Nordisk, and that will that will greatly increase their capacity. But I don't even know if they're going to let that one go through because Catalan makes a lot of medicines for a lot of companies. Um, what about these people that are diabetic? This is working for um, Dave. Has there been any talk from Lily about single dose vials so we can? Yeah. So I talked about that a little bit earlier. NHL girl. I hope that I hope that Eli Lilly releases single dose vials in the United States this year. That was one of my bold predictions for 2024 that I do really think that'll happen. I think it almost has to happen if they want to keep people on these medications. I think they're waiting as long as possible because their biggest fear is people getting on Manjaro, buying the 15 milligram dose, and then um, splitting it, right? Uh, somebody else became a, a subscriber over on, on TikTok. So thank you. If you want to become a subscriber, Click that little star. If you want to become a member over on YouTube, you click the link in the description of the video or just hit join. Um, just a couple of bucks a month and it helps uh, to support the work that I do, which is a ton of ton of work to stay on top of all this stuff. Good thing I really enjoy it too, conversely. Uh, Dr. Berg says healthy gallbladder is about making good bile with diet. Okay. Um, I know Eli Lilly website lists gallbladder issues as a possible side effect. So gallbladder issues are a possible side effect with weight loss in general, especially rapid weight loss. So you see a lot of people who just lose weight uh, with even without medicine who really struggle with gallbladder issues have to have their gallbladders removed. So naturally, it probably affects a lot of people who take these medicines and lose a lot of weight. So you don't believe natural plant foods out there help to lose weight and lower A1C? I believe they can. I, I mean, I, I do believe that they can, but not like uh, not like GLP-1 analogs can. Nothing even comes close. Show me some actual clinical data that shows me that berberin comes anywhere near this. And I've taken berberin before too, and berberin sucks. So just stop. <laughs> I mean, if it works for you, great. If you could get away with taking berberin for $9.99 a bottle instead of GLP-1 medications, and it does what you need it to do for your help, more power to you, my friend. More power to you. Do it all, all day, all day. Um, but I mean, I've taken berberin and berberin is, berberin is closer to people say berberin is nature's ozempic. No, it's very much not, not even close, no, not even really any similar mechanisms of action. It's closer to that of, of like nature's metformin, but only in the sense that it can bring your glucose down a little bit by helping to reduce the amount of glucogenesis that happens in your liver. So, um, yeah, whatever. I mean, I just think it's funny. Uh, whoever is, whoever's hawking Unicity International. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if it's working for you, Rob, more power to you, brother. More power to you. Hey, uh, no shade to anybody. If you find what works for you and, and do it, do it all day. But I just, it makes me laugh when people are like, take this, it helps produce GLP-1 naturally. Yeah. GLP-1's half-life is about a minute in the body. So these half, the half-life of terzepatide is three days. The half-life of semaglutide is five days. It doesn't, doesn't even compare. Because the half-life is so long in these analogs, it's able to penetrate the brain deeper. That's why you get the get the uh, the major reduction in food noise in a way that you're never going to get at the levels of natural GLP-1. If FDA approved Wigovi for cardiovascular health and obesity, don't they have to approve Zetbound? No, it's a completely different molecule. It's GIP analog instead of GLP-1. It does have a GIP analog in it, but it's not. It's mainly a GIP medicine versus a GLP-1. Uh, I lost 55 pounds in my A1C 6.2. Now it's 5.8. That's that's great. Good for you, Rob. I mean, I'm, I'm serious, dude. Good, more power to you. I'm glad that that works for you. 
on 12.5, can I drop down to five milligrams until 12.5 is available? I mean, <laughs> talk to your doctor about taking two five milligrams together. I mean, if you drop down to five, I don't know how much it's going to do, but these are conversations for your doctor and you. Just my own personal experience is what I'll share. Uh, thank you for the gift. 204. We got 204. I don't think we're going to hit 300, but that's all right. Um, hit that little heart button. It tells if you think that this uh, channel is helpful. Uh, you can tell TikTok it's helpful by hitting that little heart up there. You hit that heart, it sends a penny of yours to TikTok and it goes, this guy's legit, right? So thank you for those who are doing that. 206. Thank you. Appreciate that. Good to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why do diabetics lose weight slower? Great question. Um, I don't think they know, right? I don't think they really know. They're doing studies on that right now um, to find out why that is. You know, I would hypothesize that um, most because diabetes is a disease of insulin resistance. Um, you know, the thing about being insulin resistant, you have high insulin levels in the body and that creates an environment where it's very difficult to lose weight. So I think people who are insulin resistant also lose weight a lot slower just in general. And so a diabetics have a harder time losing weight without medication than average people without diabetes. And so of course the same is going to translate probably to people getting um, medical treatment for it as well. But they are studying high dose. Just did a video today. They're studying high dose uh, terzepatide right now. There's a trial testing two high doses of um, there's, Two, uh, two high doses of, of terzepatide being trialed right now. Semaglutide 7.2, that's just three times the dose of, of Wigovi now, uh, will probably be on the market in late 2025. It's in phase three trials right now. They end at the beginning of 2025. Thank you, Kim. Um, and so, um, you know, they know that higher doses are going to be required for a lot of people to respond. Um, uh, Dr. Albert's done a great video about some of the studies that are being done right now about the concentration of GLP-1 in your blood and how that varies uh, between different people and how the medicine is metabolized. So some people are just going to have to have a high, um, a higher uh, dose to get their, their blood concentration of GLP-1 or GIP up. So people keep asking me about a lot lipase. So I don't know um, if elevated lipase levels. So there was one article that I read. Um, I, I haven't studied this or looked into it too much, uh, but there is a study that I read and it was just one person, right? Uh, and it was actually looking at somebody who was consuming alcohol while on semaglutide. And um, it's been a couple of days since I read the article, but, but essentially what they found is that this guy uh, was having elevated levels of lipase, which is a, which I believe is, is like a digestive enzyme and it can lead to like really, like really nasty fatty stools. And so like when he was using alcohol, then it went away. Um, and then when he was, went off semaglutide, it went away. He kept drinking, then he in, introduced semaglutide again, and it, these levels came back. So, I mean, there is maybe something to it. I don't know anything more than that. I don't know what the dangers of having elevated lipase levels are. Um, and But I think every and the only thing that I've really seen about it correlates to alcohol consumption and the use of semaglutide. So that's the extent of what I know about, about that. I, I, I've had, it's funny, I'll come into these lives and I'll have like a couple people ask me, a question that I've never had before lately. And it must just be a, uh, an indictment on how many more people are using these medications. Now, thank you for talking about the frustration of not losing weight on a dosage five milligram gain and loss the same. Yeah. Uh, some people are just going to need a lot higher doses and it's very hard to be on here on TikTok, on YouTube, uh, because you see a lot of amazing stories and the reality is nothing is wrong with you. Thank you, Karen, for subscribing. Appreciate that. If we can get uh, five subs within 15 minutes, we get a new emote. So if you want to become a subscriber on uh, TikTok, we've got two out of five. We've got 15 minutes to get three more. It's a few bucks a month and it will just uh, basically um, uh, contribute a little bit of money towards the work that I do every month. So thank you for those. There's about 30 of you on TikTok uh, that subscribe and there's over 100 of you on YouTube uh, at $2.99 a month over on YouTube, $5.99 a month over on TikTok. Um, 
So thank you. And then we're going to take 10% of that this month and we're going to give it back to uh, one paid member, either on TikTok or YouTube to help them defray the cost of their GLP-1 medication for the month. And I think we may continue to do that monthly. So if you're a member over on YouTube or if you're a subscriber over on TikTok, um, you'll be eligible for that. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you want to become a subscriber, just hit that star up there. Um, Thanks to you for all your valuable information and time. So nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really appreciate when people acknowledge the work that I do. I, I spend a ton of time, um, a ton of time researching, a ton of time making videos and sharing that information that I, I research. I'm starting to get to the point where I have a lot of help um, from people who are just flipping me information and stuff. And so that's really helpful. If you want to help contribute information, you can always send me. The best way to contact me is not to inbox me on TikTok. I get hundreds of those and I just cannot, I don't have the time to keep up with that. But if you want to email me at manjaroman at gmail.com, manjaroman at gmail.com is the best way to flip me information. And, and then it's easier for me to go back and, and consume it later. So um, yeah, thank you. So nice as it saves you time. And that's what I'm going for. So if you want to give back, if, if, if I, if the, if the content that I provide is of value to you and you want to give back, become a subscriber over on TikTok, hit that star. We get three more in the next 12 minutes, we get a sub wave. And I think that that's uh, helpful uh, to help grow the channel. And on YouTube, you can become a member as well. Um, so yeah, uh, let's talk about a couple of other things. Uh, so uh, I'm not sure if any of you caught my video on the uh, big uh, Novo Nordisk information drop from last week, uh, but there's a podcast on it. You can check it out if you want to get the long form. But we talk a lot about retitrutide, so that's the triple agonist. And many of you have heard of that. You've heard me talking about it on YouTube now for over a year. Um, I believe I was one of the first, if not the first YouTube channel to even talk about the medication like at all. Um, we're talking about it back in, in the winter of 2022. Uh, but we talked about the triple agonist because it's it's the next generation in weight loss. But did you know that um, Novo Nordisk maker of semaglutide has a triple agonist in the works? Did you know that Novo Nordisk also has a dual GLP-1 and GIP just like terzepatide in the works? So that is really interesting. Uh, if you subscribe, somebody asked what the difference between being a subscriber on TikTok versus YouTube. So a subscriber on TikTok is a paid membership. The paid membership on YouTube gets you access to a lot of uh, custom content um, that I, is not available over here on TikTok because it's long form stuff. And, and I also do custom live streams over on YouTube to just the members as well. Um, there's not much to offer over here on TikTok, um, but uh, there's custom emojis and and things like that. So um, thank you for those who have done it. You click the star up there. Um, it is exciting times to, to be following. Abby Morrison. Hey, first of all, Abby, happy birthday. Um, I was just watching a video from last year around this time, and it, I know that your birthday happens around this time of year. So always good to see you pop in. So I hope that you're doing well, Abby. Good to see you. Good to hear from you. Um, what else? Uh, so then the other thing that this is kind of my favorite one from Novo Nordisk right now is they have a medicine in clinical trials. It's a CB1 inverse receptor agonist. CB1 is a cannabinoid receptor. So I'm calling this one the anti-munchy medicine. So uh, you heard it here first. The anti-munchy medicine is coming from uh, Novo Nordisk. It's in phase one trials. And rodents, get this, rodents lost 40% of their body weight in 45 days. <laughs> I wish this was available when I was in my 30s. Oh, yeah, Dizzy, for sure. I hear you. I mean, I'm almost out of my 30s, but I wish it would have been available earlier. So check this out. You guys are going to be blown away by this. Um, you're going to be blown away by this statistic. So this was some more information that was released by Novo Nordis this week, is that uh, users who were, um, you know, riding the fence between uh, early diabetes, and so they were not diabetic yet, uh, but it, it's helped 73% uh, of those people who have been on semaglutide have avoided getting diabetes. So that is an amazing number. Bella says, thank you so much for all the information regarding GLPs. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for following. I appreciate it. Uh, it's good to have you here. Thank you. If you're not following me, hit follow the live creator top left corner. Uh, stick around. And uh, and we'd love to have you. I do tons of, tons of short form videos that are going to have a lot of the content that I talk about here. Uh, just, you know, in a, in a one minute video. Um, what are my thoughts on GLP-1 stacking Manjaro and Zetbound for slow responders? Manjaro is Zetbound, and Zetbound is Manjaro, just like Finkel is Einhorn. 
Um, so stacking that same medicine, I mean, I don't really, I mean, I've heard of people doing it with Ozempic and, and Manjaro. Um, and I say, if your doctor's all for it, then why not? Why would that be needed? Zep works. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, maybe they meant to say Ozempic. Um, Jeremy goes to Planet Fitness three times a week. That's awesome. Uh, Jamie. <sighs> NHL Blues Girl wants the uh, anti munchie medicine. Can you talk a little bit more about the triple agonist. Yeah, uh, the one from Eli Lilly or Novo Nordisk. The triple agonist from Eli Lilly is GLP-1, GIP, just like Manjaro, and then they add a glucagon receptor agonist, which melts melts off liver fat and fat in general. It basically puts your body through like almost like an aerobic exercise without doing so, um, and uh, people lose uh, up to 30% of their body weight with retitrutide. That's coming in probably 2027 from Eli Lilly. The triple agonist from Novo Nordisk will presumably be a GLP-1, GIP plus an amylin agonist, just like Cagrasema. Cagrasema is the next weight loss medicine that will hit the market in probably 2026. Uh, Cagrasema is cagrolinotide, which is an amylin agonist, and semaglutide. Uh, putting those two together, is people, people see about 25 to 27% weight loss. Uh, so just that's an amazing medicine that will be coming from Novo Nordisk in about another year and a half. And they just talked about side effects on it. When, yeah, I'm not much to talk about side effects here, but maybe somebody in the chat can answer you. I noticed triple agonist for sale. Yeah. Uh, so if you've noticed retitrutide or Cagrosema <laughs> for sale online, that is not a compound pharmacy. That's a that's a a Chinese chemical company um, and that run away from that stuff. Have you ever read anything about Manjaro being approved for PCOS and or prediabetes? I mean, I'm not approved, but I've heard of plenty of people taking them for those indications. Uh, like I just said, hey, Jessica just became a member on YouTube. Thank you for becoming a member, Jessica. I greatly appreciate that. Um, welcome to the club. Uh, I know that the check out your new emojis now. You should have some new emojis to use. Uh, had back pain on. So the interesting thing, people are talking about back pain and bone pain and joint pain. Uh, associated with using Manjaro. So the thing about Manjaro is uh, it's a GIP agonist and there are GIP receptors in your bones. And so I, I, my theory is that is why people end up kind of feeling it, feeling that weakness in their bones. And like, I, I have had that on Manjaro myself. So um, there's something to it. And I think it has to do with those, those GIP receptors in your bones, your skin as well. Uh, what else? When you try to sleep, yeah. And another thing that people report a lot is insomnia. So that's an interesting uh, thing that people deal with very commonly on uh, Manjaro or Zepbound. Yeah, you can increase your protein intake. That seems to help some people. Electrolytes. Keeping up with your electrolytes is a huge thing when you're losing weight in general. Uh, because as you're losing weight, you're sh shedding glycogen stores. With that, a lot of times you're shedding uh, magnesium, potassium, and sodium. And so replacing those is going to be important for a lot of people. But don't just go taking a sodium supplement because there's people with high blood pressure and stuff. That's why I don't like to even like recommend a whole lot because it's like you never know somebody's medical and you know background, and um and I'm not a doctor so <laughs> I don't you know I don't like to talk about that stuff. I like to give information though. So clinical trial data, coupon data, how to get into medicine. That's what we talk about here. I'll talk about my own personal journey too. And honestly, you can ask me anything about my personal journey. I'm pretty much an open book. Uh, Sabrina gave $5 on YouTube. Thank you for the, um, the, the other Sabrina. Love all the information she said. Well, I love that you're here, Sabrina. Um, the more Sabrina's, the merrier. Sabrina's are uh, universally good people in my experience. So thank you for being here. I appreciate the gift. Um, let's see. Where are you getting yours? It's on national back order and I'm diabetic. Hi, Lydia. Uh, so I got mine through Flex. Uh, so if you go to joinflex.care, uh, joinflex.care um, or flexnow.care, um, that is who I get my medicine through. They have their own allotment for these medications. So it's nice to not have to do the, the runaround every month. Um, are you currently on and how long have you been on? So I am diabetic as well. So yeah. Um, I'm currently on the 12.5, but that's after three months on the three, two milligrams of Ozempic weekly. 
Uh, but I, before that, I was on the 15 milligram. Insurance does cover it for me because I'm diabetic. Any idea how long it would take before pancreas or gallbladder? Yeah, so pancreas uh, issues, um, there aren't really a thing with these medications. There is a black box warning because people have, uh, or mice, rodents, have developed thyroid cancer at super, super high doses of these. But they, they also have a GLP-1 receptor that humans do not in their thyroid cells. And so... Um, They've never observed thyroid cancer in humans as a result of taking GLP-1 therapies. So nice with a 1999 super chat on YouTube. Thank you very much for the 1999 super chat. So nice. Really appreciate that. Very kind, very generous of you. Thank you for doing that. 10% uh, of all the gifts that we get this month and 10% of all the memberships, the paid memberships. We've got three more minutes to get three more subscribers. If you want to be a subscriber, hit that little star button. You'll join my team over here on TikTok. Um, and we will get the sub wave if three more of you subscribe. So uh, hit that little heart button if you want to give back to the work that I do. That would be greatly appreciated. We need three more in three minutes. Uh, so if you want to join, now is a great time to do so. Uh, but 10% of the gifts and 10% of all the memberships that I get for the month of March will go into a pot, and I'm going to gift that to one paid member either on TikTok or YouTube this month. Um, so $20 super chat over on YouTube that just got... Two bucks, so that's going to go to somebody. Five dollar super chat, fifty cents going to go to somebody else. So, uh, yeah, flex, flex care dot now. I wait, flex. I always say it backwards. Flex now dot care. If I have a mod in the room, could you type in flex now dot care? If you want to find my YouTube channel and you're on TikTok, click the link in the description of the video uh, or in my bio. Go to my bio and it's there, and just click it and hit subscribe. Look for this little guy. Super crazy and vivid dreams gets Julie Klein on uh, on Manjaro. I've heard of that. Crazy dreams, insomnia. I mean, I've heard of just some wacky side effects, uh, but those are some of the wackier ones. Thank you for those who are here tonight. If you're new, hit follow the live creator. If you're on YouTube, hit subscribe. Uh, we'd love to have you here. Thank you for those who have become members over on YouTube tonight. Thank you for the two who have become subscribers over here on TikTok. Uh, hit that little star button and become a member yourself over on TikTok if you'd like to join us. Hey, Donna, how are you tonight? Welcome, Donna and P's in the house. Thank you for being here, Donna. Hope you're doing well tonight. Hope you're feeling well. Uh, why are you alternating? I'm not alternating. I just tried those. I picked for three months. I haven't been like going back and forth. Um, it just, I, you know, I had stalled out. Flexnow.care. Thank you, Sabrina. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. But yeah, um, Manjaro. I'm back on Manjaro. So I am the man on the Manjaro. If you don't know me, I'm Dave Knapp, man on the Manjaro. That's why I'm here. You are on the pen. That's why you're here with Gobi Sex and if you're listening to Manjaro's at Bound. That's what we talk about here. How is Flexnow.care able to get meds when everywhere else is out? They have their own allotment from the manufacturers. They have their own pharmacy. Um, so they are able to they are able to keep a steady supply of these medications. Um, and they also do offer 501 or five, I always like 501C, 503B compounded medications. Do you have a code for them? I don't have a code for them. No, I just use them. I don't, I'm not affiliated with them at, at all. Are you losing weight fast? I mean, at the beginning I did, I lost like 30 pounds really fast, but then I stopped. Um, I'm diabetic. I've really struggled to lose weight for the last three, three years since I, was diagnosed with diabetes. Do they take insurance? Yes, they do. Yep. Hundred percent. Yep. Just tell them that Dave sent you. Tell them that Man on the Manjaro sent you. If you go over there. Any other questions tonight? Before I jump off. Same for me. Lost fifty-two pounds on two point five and installed on five. Diana, you're on the low doses. You might want to just talk to your doctor about moving up. Thank you, user says Dave. Dave, you the man. So informative. I'm glad to be helpful. I really am. Um, uh, researching, you know, the latest and greatest in the news, and I try to bring that all to you. So if you find value in what I do and you want to support the work that I do, there's a couple ways that you can do it. First of all, you can just follow my channels. You can hit follow up here on TikTok. You can hit subscribe down below on YouTube. Um, those are the easiest way. doesn't cost you a dime. If you want to support the work that I do, um, if you're on TikTok tonight, uh, first of all, you got to know that TikTok could be going away. And so you want to follow me over on YouTube and Instagram. Um, 
But uh, those are the free ways that you can follow me. If you want to support the work that I do financially, you can become a subscriber over on TikTok. That's by hitting the little star up here, or you can become a member on YouTube. I feel like I, this has been an infomercial for that tonight. I don't mean for it to be, but I don't. I also don't mind getting compensated for the work that I do because I'm a father of four kids, and I put a ton of ton of time and effort into this, and I got to justify it somehow. Um, it is sort of a passion project for me, but, um, yeah, I definitely appreciate those who support me in that way. Uh, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Giving you the Cliff's Notes version. That's, that's kind of what I aim to do. Right. So if you're on YouTube, a lot of times you need says, tell your cousin, hello, I will do that. Do you know my cousin? Or are you just saying that from watching her on the lives, you niece? Um, I'm, I'm on the 12.5 of, of Manjaro currently. I just switched back over to it from two milligrams of Ozempic. Wasn't feeling anything. I'm 15 after a few months, went 10 days before taking mine to feel it again. Yeah. Food noise is gone for a few days. I missed this. Yeah. I've noticed that the food noise is down. I don't feel as full as I did on semaglutide, but the food noise is down and that's what I needed because I, I drive for work now. Um, I sell x-ray equipment. So I drive all over the state of Iowa to sell x-ray equipment. So if you know any veterinarians or chiropractors or podiatrists in the area in Iowa that would, might like to buy uh, some x-ray equipment from a happy guy, let me know, manjaroman at gmail.com. Uh, but uh, that's what I do for a living, and I find that being in a car is a real trigger for me. Um, so having that food noise turned off is really important, and semaglutide didn't do that for me at all. It would make me feel full when I would eat, but it did not turn food noise off anytime. I need to know something about Manjaro is that bound. I go to Dave's page. Thank you, user. I appreciate that. I really, really do. Thank you for those. Watching you guys live. I'm in Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah. We need to have Chrissy back sometime. Any update on the shortage of Zetbound? So Zetbound is not in an FDA shortage, but it is, I mean, definitely people are feeling like they have to call around to different pharmacies and stuff. Have five, six, seven pharmacies uh, that you can call, you know, um, and, Hospital pharmacies are going to be great. Just end up answering the same questions like 80 times on a live. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's the big thing right now is the shortages. Um, if you want to look at uh, joining Flex, you can go to flexnow.care. Um, that's who I personally use. And they have their own uh, special allotments of these medications. That's the real one of the real draws to me for Flex. I mean, there's a lot of different reasons that I use them, but having that own their own kind of dedicated supply so that you don't have to do this horrible, um, stressful and anxiety fueled uh, dance to find your medication every month. That's a nice thing, too. That's a that's a luxury for sure. Um, thank you for those who have liked, shared, saved, gifted. I really appreciate that. Are they avoiding putting ZEP on the FDA site because of stock price? Dizzy, I think that's fair to say. I think so. Flex Flex is the company that I use for my telemedicine. Um, they avoid putting ZEPbound on the FDA site because of stock prices. I don't think they can do that legally. But I do think that they have prioritized manufacturing ZEPbound so that they can avoid putting it on the shortage list for as long as possible. Because right now, they're just riding a wave of absolute positive press, right? Just everything you hear from Novo Nordisk is there's shortage, 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 shortage. They're not making lower doses of Agobi. So they're trying to ride that train for as long as possible before they get the, the really bad press of Eli Lilly can't make enough Zep bound to meet demand, right? Because they're afraid of how many people that, you know, maybe on the fence that won't try because they don't want to deal with the shortages, right? So that's my theory is that they have now, um, prioritized the manufacturing of, and this is just pure speculation, but I think I'm right. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. It's speculation, but I'm not wrong. You know what I mean? Um, I think they prioritize the manufacturing of Zetbound to avoid, but it will be on the shortage list. Mark my words, and then you can come back and you can tell me you were right, Dave. Zetbound will be on the shortage list soon enough. They're writing like a hundred thousand prescriptions of it a week. So, um, it's, it's pretty crazy, right? That, that's crazy numbers. So there's a few of us in Texas. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, there are a few of you in Texas, Eunice. You're right. Yeah, they can just throw up Zep labels on MJ Pets. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it is wrapping this thing in, in something that says Zep bound instead of Manjaro, right? Put it in a different box. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I wish I would have invested more money. I mean, I wish I would have invested in a lot of this stuff. I wish I would have had the money to invest. I mean, I've got four kids and I'm telling you, the only thing I'm investing in is groceries. Good Lord. So freaking expensive to feed four kids. Even when daddy's on a GLP-1, <laughs> groceries are still expensive. This took my first dose of semaglutide today after about 17 months on MJ. Oh, I forgot you were switching, Donna. I have to be out of pocket. My maintenance. So how did you feel today, Donna? And what dose did you start on, Donna? Costco is the key. I wish, yeah, Costco, Sam's Club here for me. Wish I would have invested more. Yep, we got that. Thank you for being here with me tonight. It's 120 of you over on TikTok, 46 of you over on YouTube. Pretty good showing for an impromptu live stream. So thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for everybody who's given gifts. Thank you to everybody who's chatted tonight. Really appreciate that. Um, really appreciate all of you. Thank you for following. If you haven't follow, already followed me, hit follow in the top left corner on YouTube. If you're doing fine at 0.25, okay. Do you feel anything at all at 0.25 after being on MJ? Probably not. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you for modding. I appreciate that. Aubrey just got the number two gifter badge. Thank you, Aubrey. Zeppity Duda. I'm to make sure that I'm following you, Aubrey. I think I am, though. Yes. Yeah, moving mountains. You're welcome. You're welcome. My pleasure, my treasure. Tomorrow will be the telling day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Somebody's starting Zebbound tomorrow. That's awesome. You're welcome, Aubrey. My pleasure. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for the encouragement. Hey, Natalie. Natalie's joining us over on YouTube. Natalie, aren't you a member? I thought you were a member. When does your next podcast episode come out? So for members of the YouTube channel, they'll get the podcast tomorrow night. Everybody else will get, and they'll get the video of it. The podcast will drop Tuesday morning. So my podcast always drops on Tuesday morning. Um, usually if you're paying attention late, when, late Monday night. Um, but the YouTube members get to watch that video for a couple days before that goes live on the channel. Um, and then I, I do drop some occasional bonus content over on the podcast too, like covered the Nova Nordisk thing. I did like an hour long video on the Novo Nordisk thing. So you can check that out. I dropped that into the podcast as well. So every now and again, I drop some bonuses. Yeah, I thought it was a member too. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You, I thought your niece was a member too. Um, no pressure. I'm just seeing some names and I'm used to seeing your name in green with a little emoji next to it. And so it's almost like I don't recognize it when I see it. I'm like, who is that? Because mostly I recognize the names that come in here. Um, and mostly, most everybody on YouTube that watches is a member. Um, is that bound five milligram girl down 41 pounds? That's awesome. I think it's a shame you can't recycle these pens. You know, the interesting thing is that Novo Nordisk does have a recycling program for their pens. So Eli Lilly needs to get on, on that for sure. All right. Well, we've been on for an hour. I think it's about time to shut it down. Thank you for being here tonight. This was fun. Uh, make sure you follow the live creator. Hit follow in the top left corner. Um, Amory just followed a couple uh, days ago. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No updates on the MJ shortages. No, nope. but you can follow my channel for more updates. So thank you for being here. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for being the best part of what I do. And on the pen with Man on the Majora, I really appreciate you being here with me tonight. Uh, I hope you all have a great week. Uh, check out the podcast. Give it a five-star rating and review. Um, new, new episode will drop tomorrow, but there's lots of good content over there. So thank you for being here. We'll check you on the next one and TikTok.